Hi, in the previous video, we learned about the Boolean function rule. Now we will apply it to the first economic example, market model with general functions. What do I mean general functions? Look, this is the new model, market model. First equation is the way we know it from before, quantity demanded, quantity supply, and quantity condition. However, look, now comes the difference. Quantity demand is some function of price and income. Now, in this case, we are not assuming that this is a linear function, that this is quadratic exponential function, logarithmic function, reciprocal function, nothing. We do not know exactly how this function will look. However, we've got some information about it. And information is described by derivatives. Look, here we've got information that the partial derivative of demand with respect to price is negative. What does it mean? The higher the price, the lower the demand. It makes perfect sense, right? Law of demand, the higher the price, the lower the quantity demand. Second, is that the higher the income, higher the demand, right? Positive derivative. What is this telling us? It's telling us that demand increases with income, which also tells us that the good we are considering is either normal or large, but definitely is not an inferior good. And very similar information, we've got about supply. Quantity supply, this is a function of one variable alone, price. Right? And we know that the higher the price, the higher the supply, the uh, quantity supply, are compassed according to the law of supply. So look, all the information we've got over here is extremely general. Right? We do not need to rely on the specific form of a function to have any infer uh, uh, inferences, right? Okay, so how do we solve this one? Like, okay, what is the piece of information we want to get from this? Look, let's just say that what I want to know are two things. First, What is going to happen to the equilibrium price as income of customers goes up? And the second piece of information what is happening to equilibrium quantity when income goes up? And for that,
introducing some uh, convention gaps. In this model, the price is an endogenous variable. However, income is exogenous. So we're going to separate endogenous variables from exogenous variables with semicolon, right? Endogenous, exogenous, right? Now, how this function will work? Well, in our case, we can use excess demand and simply substitute the two functions that you see over here. So we've got like this d p y zero minus s. So what should I have here? Well, well, 
I definitely need to use the formula. So I'm going to have mine as a font. And the formula goes like this. Here, I need to have derivative of f with respect to y0. And here, I need to have derivative of f with respect to price. Oh, let's just say we will price at this point. Right? Because this is our y, and this is one of the x's, right? We just have y. And look, calculating it is extremely easy. We've got y as a front, and now,
higher equilibrium price and higher equilibrium quantity. Okay, so this is it about market model. In the next video, we're going to turn uh, to national input model with general functions. Thank you for your attention.